Welcome to the final part of New Super Mario Bros. Wii Star Coins. Today we're going to be getting every single Star Coin in World 7, 8, and 9. Enjoy! 7-1 has three Star Coins for you to find. The first one can be obtained by doing a wall jump off the pipe or bouncing off the purple platform while it's at its highest point. The second Star Coin can be obtained by going in this pipe right after the checkpoint. And then by making some challenging jumps in order to get to the Star Coin. And the third star coin can be obtained by bouncing off of this purple platform while it's at it. You saw nothing. Anyway, the third star coin can be obtained by bouncing off of this purple platform while it's at its highest point. 7-2 is hiding another three star coins. The first one can be obtained by ground pounding this chain chomp's pole uh, for three times while it's facing the bricks. The second star coin can be gotten by going inside of a pipe obscured by the clouds. And then doing some water bubble parkour in order to get to it. The third star coin is in between the two chain chomps right after. Uh, just so you know, it is after the pipe that you exit uh, once you leave the second the area the second star coin was in, so you might you'll have to go backwards if you just got that. 7-3 is hiding three more star coins. The first one can be obtained by going in between these fuzzies at, at a better time than I did. The second one can be obtained by revealing a hidden vine above this flower. Once up there, hit this P-switch and then climb on the bricks before the P-switch expires. The third star coin can be gotten by carefully avoiding these fuzzies. 7 Dash Tower is hiding three star coins and a secret exit. The third star coin is at the right where these giant bullet bills are. Unlike what I did, you're gonna wanna try and aim for this platform if you're unable to make it back onto the lift. Trust me, it's better than this. The second star coin is right next to it at the top of that section. You're just gonna wanna hit a few invisible blocks and then get above that area. And then you'll be taken to a separate area where you can get the second star coin. For the third star coin, you're going to relatively precisely throw a bomb on that ledge in order to break the bricks to get into the star coin. For the secret exit, you're going to want to go into this right wall in the castle. Although this is the only platform without a cannon on it, you still might be wondering, where is this? Well, in order to help you out with that, here's the checkpoint. And from the checkpoint, it's the fourth brown platform on the right. From there, you'll get to this area where there's a lot of bullet bills. If you're willing to risk it for some lives, then keep as many bullet bills on screen as possible when you hit the secret exit. 7-Ghost House is hiding three star coins and another secret exit. The first star coin can be obtained right at the start by letting this boxing ghost go through the wall and then obtaining the star coin. I'd recommend letting him escape first though. The second star coin can be obtained by going in the only door that you're actually able to go in after the drop section. And then letting this big boo get out of the way, and then dropping front to the star coin from above. So the third star coin and secret exit are actually together, so we're just going to cover them both at the same time. So for the secret exit, what you're going to want to do is let this other punchy ghost, I know that's not what his actual name is, but I forgot, I think it's like a bruiser or something, I don't know, and then go through that door. Once in here, there's going to be a little vertical section that you're going to have to traverse. And then once you think you've made it to the secret exit and come out the top of the mansion, you actually want to go back in the bottom. Once you get there, you'll enter this room where you can hit this switch and then this platform will appear and you can get the star coin. Just try to get out of there before, you know, everything happens. And the secret exit's right there. 7-4 is hiding. Three more star coins. The first one can be obtained at the end of the first section and I did make it a bit more complicated than you need to, but I think you get the idea. The second star coin can be obtained by jumping off of this platform at the right time in this section. And the third star coin can be obtained by getting into this pipe by bouncing off a of bullet bill. Once you're there, you're going to confront a lot of bullet bill launchers and you're going to have to climb up the moving bullet bills in order to get to the star coin. That was close. 7-4 is hiding three more star coins. Were you really expecting anything else? The first one can be obtained by jumping below the first platform of the level. The second star coin can be gotten by obtaining this Koopa shell next to the checkpoint, and then throwing it off this side of the thing in order to get under the platform. And the third star coin is cleverly hidden behind this fog enemy. Don't worry about the shell coming back out, which is something that I did because there is actually a hole that just leads right to the edge. 7-6, better known as pain as in its fear. <coughs> 7-6, better known as pain in its purest form, is hiding three more star coins. For the, for the first one, ride this big parrot beetle down to victory, or also known as the star coin. 
For the second star coin, ride one of these three pair of beetles up into the clouds. And ride this pair of beetle down to the third star coin. Unfortunately, I did kind of have to sacrifice Yoshi here, but if you do it right, you can do it without doing that. Sorry, Yoshi. In order to honor our fallen Yoshi, I'm going to tell you the story about the fact that 7 Dash Castle is hiding three more star coins. The first star coin of 7 Dash Castle can be obtained by making your way through these bricks by bouncing off the stry bones. Mario unfortunately had a tough time doing this as his feet were not necessarily in the right position at all times. Mario sat there and thought about Yoshi while he was on his last hit. Knowing that if he failed this, he would have a similar fate as Yoshi, he prepared for the jump anyways and ended up getting the first star coin. After wandering around aimlessly for a long time, Mario finds this pipe and makes this daring jump to go for it. Once inside, he had to avoid the skewers on all sides of him and make it to the star coin, make it to the second star coin, which is in the upper right corner. However, Mario did not know that there was not a wall that he could wall jump off of, but it did not matter because he had obtained the second star coin. After a bit more searching, he found that the third star coin was above this question block, and with that he was home free, and had finally avenged his fallen brethren. Wait a second, isn't this a star coin tutorial? 8-1 has three star coins for you to find. The first one can be obtained by jumping off of this platform. The second one can be obtained by picking up this power block and then throwing it over here. The star coin will drop from the sky and it'll be yours. For the third star coin, you're going to want to jump over this wall and then use this spring in order to break through these bricks, and then the star coin is yours. 8-2 is hiding three star coins and a secret exit. The first star coin can be obtained by jumping up onto these platforms before the big spike ball destroys the bricks. The second star coin is after this running section. You're going to need to somehow get in between the Goombas. It might take a little while, but eventually you'll get there. The third star coin is in the wall right before this pipe. For the secret exit, you're going to want to go to the start of the area where the third star coin is. As you can see, that's where the third star coin is. And go inside of this wall. Definitely did not have to edit anything out because I used the wrong part of footage. That did not happen. Anyways, once you're in this room, you're going to want to get past the these this area, which is basically just like trying to push you back. There's going to be a Goomba pipe at the end, you're going to want to watch out for that, but then just go up this pipe here and get to the flagpole. And that is the secret exit. 8-3 is hiding three star coins. Do we really expect anything else? The first one can be obtained by letting that platform drop down a little bit more than you might be comfortable with. The second one can be obtained by going to the left and uh, basically just going with the lava waves and getting the star coin. And to get the third star coin, you have to do this at the perfect time to not get hit by the lava. 8 Dash Tower is hiding three more star coins. The first one can be obtained by doing a tricky jump off of that platform. The second star coin is right below the area with the checkpoint, and there is a area that you can jump in with a door in it. Once inside the door, you'll be greeted with these three happy fire bars that you're going to have to avoid. And uh, then just get the star coin, I guess. 8 Dash 4 is hiding three more star coins. Oh wait, it's, it's this level. Nobody wants to play it. Anyways, the first star coin is above the start of the level, and just kill these spikes in order to get to it. For the second star coin, you're going to want to hit this squid, this switch on the ground. Uh, if you have a fire flower, I recommend killing these glow squid things before you hit it, and basically it's going to release all the bloopers, so just get the star coin and then get out of there as fast as possible. And it takes some looking around to find the third star coin, but basically it's in this crevice here, uh, near the end of the section where you go up, and uh, yeah, just get that and you're good. 8-5 is hiding another three star coins. For the first one, just carefully avoid these bombs and get on top of this platform. For the second one, take this bomb just after the checkpoint and then just throw it at the star coin. It's a lot harder than it looks. It took me a while. It made me root my hair out. Anyway, on to the next star coin, which can be obtained by jumping off this platform once it's at its highest point. This is a lot harder than it looks, so don't be too hard on yourself if you fail it a lot. 8-6 is hiding three more star coins. The first two star coins are gotten pretty much the same way. Just go more to the left over here. And then for the second star coin, literally two seconds later, just go over to the left. If you have the propeller suit, these star coins are practically free. And for the third star coin, just use either your propeller suit or the hammer if you don't have one. 8-7 is hiding another three star coins. The first one can be do gotten by doing a slightly lower jump than usual here. And the second one can be obtained by doing literally what you're intended to do over here. And the third one can be gotten by jumping a little bit later than expected, but right before you're getting onto the second roller coaster. 8 Dash Airship is hiding three more star coins. The first one can be gotten by jumping off cannonballs launched by these cannons, 
But if you don't feel comfortable doing that, then you can also get a, com a propeller suit a little later in the level and go back to it. The second star coin is in the area just after the checkpoint. And basically what you have to do is just make sure that both these Mecha Coopers are on one side and then go up and get it. The third star coin comes out from underneath this platform when you unscrew this screw. If you don't have a propeller suit, then you can use the Mecha Koopa on the, uh, on the right side in order to get it. But that should be noted that it's quite a bit harder. And now that you've beaten the airship, this is what happens. Oh hey look, another level. 8-Final Bowsery Spiky Castle contains three star coins. The first star coin can be obtained by riding on this lift a little bit longer than you should in order to get it, and then saving yourself using these lifts. The second star coin is on the right side of this drop section, however you're going to want to watch out for this fire bar. I cut it pretty close and I don't really know how you're not supposed to cut it really close, so just be careful there. The third star coin is in the Bowser boss fight, all you gotta do is just get him to break that area with his fireball and then you're all good. Well, you dear viewer on the, are on the final stretch. There's only 8 more levels in the entire game to go and we're gonna cover them right here. 9-1, as always, is hiding 3 star coins. The first one can be gotten by bouncing off of this Koopa Troopa. The second one can either be gotten by bouncing off a paratrooper or just using a propeller suit like I did. And the third one, although it's tricky, can be obtained by doing this. On to 9-2, which has three more star coins. The first one can be gotten by riding this platform a little lower than you might be comfortable with. I think I might have actually said, that said second one there, but this one is actually the second one and you want to go into this pipe by using that lift to bring you down. And then once inside, you gotta avoid this fish and get the star coin and just get out of there. I found the third star coin pretty tricky, but basically what you have to do is you have to get this Koopa shell here and just throw it at this wall and then it's gonna fall off and you're gonna have to do that again with a different Koopa shell. The problem I had is when I brought this red Koopa shell back, the other guys respawned and it made it kinda difficult, but eventually I managed to get to the star coin. 9-3 is hiding three star coins. And the first one, took, which took me forever, can be completed by doing this maze. Now uh, just try to be careful and watch what I'm doing here because I made a lot of mistakes here and this took me a lot of tries but I eventually managed to do it. The second star coin can be found right after the pipe of where you enter for the first star coin and only bounce off one bullet bill it makes it a lot easier to get into that pipe. And then you have to do a little p-switch run section here uh, and then at the end you will find the star coin. And the third star coin can be obtained by jumping off of these giant bullet bills near the end of the stage. The second, 9-4 has three star coins for you to find. The first one can be obtained by wall jumping off of this blue pipe when it's at its lowest point. The second star coin is meant to be obtained by throwing an exploded bomb at that star coin, but I found a frozen one to be much easier. The third star coin requires you to keep your ice flower till the end of the stage and freeze that prana plant and then go in the pipe above it. It's just as hard as it sounds. 9-5 has another three star coins for you to find. The first one can be obtained by going down where the penguins come out of instead of going up the stage like normal. The second star coin, just do this simple wall jump and it's yours. And the third star coin took me literally forever, but basically you want to jump, you want to freeze this fuzzy and then go on it. It's a lot harder than it sounds and uh, good luck with that. Moving straight from ice to fire, 9-6 has three star coins for you to find. The first one is inside of this platform, and the second one requires a relatively simple wall jump to do. Just make sure the lava spout, spout isn't in the way while you're attempting this. The third star coin can be obtained by jumping off a little bit lower than you're intended to in order to get underneath the ending pipe. And then what I did was I just waited for the lava spout to come back up just to play it safe. Then once it dropped, I got on the platform and headed out. Now, this was very stressful to do, by the way. 9-7. According to some, this is one of the hardest levels in all of Mario. And it has three star coins for you to find. The first star coin requires wall jumping off of this and then just trying to avoid all the fireballs in your way. The second star coin is underneath the ground here and I accidentally spam my fireballs one too many times but I'm still able to get to it and uh, just go quickly before these piranha plants make the ground pretty much untraversable. And now onto the third star coin. You're gonna need to let the fire bros break the ground and no matter and you can't really do it without them breaking literally everything, so just try to get on top of the platforms and out of there as soon as possible. 
I'm sorry I really couldn't provide a good information on how to get those star coins, but honestly, you just, I don't know how to. Anyways, 9-8 has three more star coins, and this is the final level in the game. The first star coin can be gotten by using this propeller block in order to fly in between these fuzzies. The second star coin can be gotten by waiting for the fuzzies to be going sideways and then snagging the star coin from behind them. For the third star coin and also the safety of your life, you should get on top of this area in order to on top of these bricks and then wait for the king bills to blast through these walls. And then once you're there, you can get the second the third star coin. This has been every star coin in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. These videos have been in the works since February. And if you want more out of this playthrough, I am going to be doing a quick review of the game and what I thought of my most recent experience playing through it. I'm going to do a death compilation, as always. And I might even do a full time lapse from start to finish. Thank you all so much for watching, and see you next time.